The four things that make a repellent effective are one, the active ingredient, which is commonly referred to as DEET, picaridin, IR3535, or naturals. Two, the concentration of that active ingredient. Three, the dosage or amount you apply to your skin. And four, the delivery system which holds the repellent on your skin, which is perhaps the most important factor. Sawyer's advanced delivery systems give you the most comfortable, the only odorless, and the longest lasting formulas on the market. They're also compatible with sunscreens, unlike liquid repellents that act as a wash. Permethrin is the first line of defense for all outdoor enthusiasts. So whether you're hiking, camping, hunting, fishing, or traveling abroad, you should always apply permethrin to your clothing and gear as the primary insect repellent before heading out. Our special formula is the only odorless and the longest lasting permethrin on the market. And it's been exclusively treating uniforms for the U.S. and Canadian military for almost 30 years. Permethrin is a synthetic version of naturally occurring pyrethrin, which comes from the chrysanthemum flower. It repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, chiggers, biting flies, and over 55 other kinds of insects. Clear permethrin is completely odorless and invisible after it's dry. It's just as effective as using 100% DEET, and one application can last up to 42 days of outdoor exposure or through six washings. Our permethrin comes in various sizes. A 24 ounce trigger spray that can treat four complete outfits, which is the best value for your money. A 12 ounce trigger spray that can treat two complete outfits. And a nine ounce aerosol spray can. A complete outfit consists of a shirt, pants, and pair of socks. And each garment needs three ounces of permethrin to be effective. Permethrin is safe and compatible with almost all fabrics, but it will have an easier time binding to soft fabrics like cottons, wools, and synthetic blends. It will have a harder time binding to fabrics with tighter woven fibers like rainflies and waterproof shells. Now I'm going to show you how to apply the permethrin. First you're going to want to select an outdoor area or a garage that's shielded from the wind. Give the bottle a good shake and then lightly moisten the fabric of the garment with a slow sweeping motion keeping the bottle about six to eight inches away. A good rule of thumb is to treat each side of the garment for about 30 seconds. Let the garments air dry for two hours, then you'll have protection for 42 days of UV exposure or six washings, whichever comes first. Now I know you're probably wondering, what if my shirt is larger than the average shirt? Well, that doesn't matter. Whether you're a small or a 4XL, what matters is the number of molecules applied to your garment and three ounces of formula contains enough permethrin molecules to be effective. However, the more molecules you apply, the more protection you will have. Your tent has the largest surface area in your campsite, so spray your tent with permethrin to help keep the bugs out of your tent and out of your campsite. Treat your camp chairs or patio furniture, backpacks for more protection while hiking, ah, no bugs, bandanas, hats, sleeping bags, and sleeping bag liners. Make sure you also treat your camo, because permethrin is completely odorless, and you want to bring home your trophy, not the ticks. The great thing about permethrin is it follows you as you're moving, unlike stationary repellents that have to saturate the area before they start working. Harming my gear because permethrin is not a plasticizer, so treat your fishing best. People have a lot of questions when using permethrin for the first time, so I'm going to answer a few of those frequently asked questions. Dear Amy, is permethrin harmful to my skin? Sincerely, Woodsy Whitney. No, permethrin is not harmful to the skin, it's just not effective on the skin. Dear Amy, what's with all the warnings on the box? Sincerely, Backwoods Brian. The warnings on the box are primarily to protect you during the application. There are dispersants in the formula that give it a nice even coat as you apply it, and you don't want to inhale those dispersants. So make sure you apply permethrin in a well-ventilated area. After it's applied, there's nothing to worry about. Dear Amy, can a treated garment touch my skin? Sincerely, Campfire Casey. Yes, a treated garment can touch your skin, and it is not harmful to the body. As you know, permethrin was developed for the military, and therefore the label claims are derived from the military. Since military undergarments consisted of underwear and a white t-shirt, soldiers were instructed not to treat their undergarments with permethrin because those items would be concealed by their uniform and therefore not effective. Dear Amy, is there anything that permethrin can harm? Sincerely, Fly Fishing Freddy. 
Yes, permethrin in its liquid form is harmful to cats. However, when it's dry, it's completely safe. But permethrin is not harmful to dogs, and in fact, it is used in many tick treatments. It is also harmful to fish and other aquatic organisms, so do not apply permethrin directly in the washing machine, and do not dump excess permethrin down the drain or in a river. Once it's dry on your clothing, it's bonded to the fabric much like the coloring on your clothing, and it will not come off in a river or a lake.